Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back for the second video of today, ladies and gentlemen. And what I want to do in this video is just reiterate my point that I made in the Cardano video that I brought out earlier. And that is that we are not in a bear market. My comment section, there is an ever growing presence with people calling for a bear market. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you are not in a bear market. If somebody tells you you're in a bear market because the price has gone down, they have clearly never been a part of any bull market ever. Prices like in 2017, this is Bitcoin in 2017 here, ladies and gentlemen, the prices went down frequently, sometimes as severe as 40%. Yes, we know the pullback that we are currently going through in Bitcoin is round about I think 51% today perhaps uh, it did go down to 55% uh, around about 53% is unorthodox compared to 2017 standards but isn't unorthodox compared to 2013 standards now if you go back and look at 2013 ladies and gentlemen and Willie Wu says here and the 2013 bear market this is the fish ratio you can see that they 2013 had a severe pullback of over 70%. Now, you would have called that a bull market with a pullback. That is what I believe you are going through today, ladies and gentlemen. This, to me, does not look like a head and shoulders pattern. And Bitcoin is forming a falling wedge as we speak. Falling wedges, and we've done it on a number of times on this channel, typically break to the upside. Vice versa, rising wedges, and I'll show you very, very quickly typically break to the downside. These were all rising wedges, ladies and gentlemen. This is just very, very quickly drawn. Rising wedges, and I can show you a million and one examples, guys, typically break to the downside. Falling wedges typically break to the upside. If you go back in Bitcoin's history, and you look at every single falling wedge that happened and every single rising wedge, you'll tend to find that is um, true the majority of the time. Yes, it doesn't have to 100% play out like that, but more times than not, and if you look at how textbook, by the way, guys, this falling wedge is, and this is actually, I could have probably drawn this on a bigger scale, uh, incorporating the entire dip, um, but for now, we'll just use this sort of falling wedge that we're currently in, this smaller falling wedge. Um, you can see that this it, 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 it's apparent that Bitcoin's in a falling wedge and it follows the falling wedge kind of structure very, very closely. And what you're experiencing right now is a pullback within a bull market. They are allowed. It's fine. Just because this pullback was more severe and we've spoke about a number of reasons why it was, such as the amount of leverage in the system, 776 thousand positions got liquidated from around about that 38k range all the way down to 30. You also have China that ban literally again for the millionth time ban mining Bitcoin. This They would also have uh, cracked down and put some pressure on exchanges and individuals holding it. See Binance inflows mainly from Asia especially over the China foot of the Bitcoin banning. You can see that the large, uh, the quite a large part of the sell pressure was directly from the China foot. Also, if you look at the DXY, which is apps, it's like a seesaw. This goes down the DXY, the dollar currency index. This goes up. Right now, they are very, very heavily correlated. And look what the dollar index is forming a rising wedge, which we've already spoken about, and how they typically. And we've done more detailed analysis on rising and falling wedges on this channel. Go through my videos, have a look for them. You can see that you know you are forming a rising wedge and you are getting uh, somewhat rejected from this point here. Um, and ultimately I am kind of predicting a breakdown for the dollar currency index because I think cash is trash. Ultimately one reason I'm in Bitcoin and it's one of the main reasons is because I do not trust the fiat systems. I think they are a bad form of value. I think they are manipulated. I think they are controlled. There's a million and one unfair. There's a million and one reasons why I'm in Bitcoin and they are just a few of them. So ultimately guys, it's times like these where you need to fall back on your beliefs. Why are you in the crypto space? Why are you investing in the currency market, the cryptocurrency market? And that will help you to understand. Now, one reason I'm invested is because I can see that crypto has a bright future. This is an article that I always bring up. I even brought it on my last video up. World Economic Forum, a blockchain could disrupt 867 trillion in a traditional markets and it tells you where it gets that total volume from equity markets debt markets secure securitized products derivatives etc etc this money right now in a lot of cases is earning a very little yield it's earning very little apy annual percentage uh, yield whereas the crypto space if you take bitcoin over its history and you divide it by the amount of years it's been alive has given you around about 200 percent growth per 
Yeah, so this money uh, could possibly flow into assets like Bitcoin and other cryptos out there that are disrupting the world in different ways other than just being perhaps a store of value um, is going to flow into more of an appealing investment over time. We just have a lot of things that depend on that, like regulations and them going in the cryptocurrency's favor, etc., etc. So that's really all I have for you in this video, guys. I, I, I think Bitcoin right now is at a crucial level. I think a falling wedge is a typical reversal sign. Um, and ultimately, you know, we are waiting for a breakout here um, before we then continue on in this bull market that we are still in. Do not come at me and tell me that we are in a bear market because the price has sold off. Yes, that is the key trait of a bear market is price selling off, but it has to be over a sustained period of time. You could probably say that we are in a short term bear market within a bull market. I would accept that probably for now. But to say that we're in a bear market, there hasn't been enough time for us to be right. We have a, a proven that we are in a bull market. This is a pullback within that to date, but a bear market will prove itself over time. I'm not saying um, that we can't be in a bear market. We could be, but I would get proven wrong and the price would continue to fall over a period of time, six months or so, before we then go, yes, we're in a bear market. Let's change our strategy accordingly. So that's really all I have for you in this video, guys. Just a short and sweet one. Noticing lots of comments. Remember that we are directly correlated with the dollar, uh, the US dollar uh, currency index. Uh, it's literally go and look on some, put them both on a four hourly time frame. Watch this go down. Bitcoin go up, this go up, Bitcoin go down. Very, very heavily correlated. But if you look look at the structures that they're forming, uh, falling wedge for Bitcoin, rising wedge for the dollar, I think this is going to go um, in our favor, ladies and gentlemen. This would coincide with our sort of Elliott wave theory, our Fibonacci levels, etc., etc., etc. So that's all I have for you in this video, guys. I don't think this is a head and shoulders like many are calling for. Um, I think there are plenty of examples of where people have called head and shoulders before and they just haven't played out. Remember, head and shoulders is just a pattern. The same as, and I've got to be fair here, a falling wedge is just a pattern. It doesn't have to play out, but usually these patterns play out more times than they don't. Doesn't mean it's going to. That is all I am saying. So that's all I'm going to have. That's all I'm going to say in this video, guys. I'm going to love and leave you if you enjoyed the content. If you like these short and sweet updates, let me know because I'll make them more frequent. It's just really so I could get on here, show my face, uh, and address the people. People are very, very scared in this market. I've been here for four over four years now, so I kind of understand how the space goes. And, and really had that baptism of fire back in 2018 when I jumped into the space and I was greeted with a 95% sell-off across the board, which left me looking around for reasons to stick with crypto and ultimately I found them and that is what is trying to be achieved here. They are literally trying to um, rebuild the financial infrastructures, the social in infrastructures around the world with blockchain technology, much the same as the internet revolutionized the entire world. Blockchain technology is doing a similar thing. That's why we've compared some of the dot-com stocks to cryptocurrencies today as the dot-com stocks came out of the internet. Cryptocurrencies have come out of blockchain technology, very comparable in the fact that they're both disruptive technologies. And in my opinion, at a $1.2 trillion market cap, remember guys, this is the World Economic Forum saying there's a large market, a lot of money out there that this this um, cryptocurrency malarkey could disrupt. Um, you know, I, I think we're, we've are we got a bright future. So that's all I have for you in this video, guys. I'm gonna love and leave you on that note. If you enjoyed the content, like, so it's appreciated. So as a comment, and hopefully you should get subscribed and I'll see you all on the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.